This is our main event, September 14th. Canelo Alvarez and Edwin Berlanga meets for the WBA, WBC, and WBO Super Middleweight World Titles. Canelo, you got this! We are Mexico! Zone.com. Additionally, fans can purchase the pay per view at ppv.com. And on top of those options, they can continue to access the telecast through traditional cable and satellite outlets. Once again, this event is promoted by Canelo Promotions and TGV Promotions in association with Matchroom Boxing. Now, let's hear from one of the instrumental voices that helped make this fight possible the president of TGV Promotions, Mr. Tom Brown. Thank you, Miguel. Good afternoon and welcome, everyone. I'm going to make this uh, real short today. We had a press conference, a great press conference in New York tonight yesterday, and we all flew home last night. And I know you're all here today really to hear from these two guys. But this really is a special event. It's on the Mexican Independence Day weekend, and that always means that there's a huge boxing event in Las Vegas. Canelo Alvarez is a pound for pound great and a Mexican superstar, and he's boxing's biggest star today. He proudly represents a hard-working country with two major public holidays a year where his million of fans get to come out and watch him fight. And on Saturday, September 14th, both the Mexican and Puerto Rican fans are gonna be in for a great night because national pride will be on the line. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. 
time. And now, let's bring up one of the co-trainers for Team Berlanga. Please welcome Mark Ferre. So that means that um, our, our, our homework is cut out for us. Egg is more than ready. Egg has been ready. Um, what I tell Egg is this, I say, Egg, man, you gotta remember, Canelo was in your position at one time. He was hungry. There were other people in front of him. So we just can't come with what we've been coming with. It's gotta be something special. So it's no coincidence that this first title shot is gonna be against a legend. And not only for one title, but for three titles. Um, that's a blessing. That comes from above. So he has to take that extremely serious. I'm not here to talk about what we're going to do and how we're going to fight Canelo. There have been so many other trainers that stood here before said the same thing. So we're here to work hard. Edgar's going to die out there, put his heart and soul out there, and he's going to come to work. There ain't going to be no running. Um, and we know in order to be great, we have to be the great. So we're willing to do that, and I think we're able. He'll be more than ready. All right, now let's hear from our trainer on the opposite side who has been with Canelo from the start. One of the best trainers in the entire world. Please welcome Eddie Reynoso. Las confrontaciones entre México y Puerto Rico son grandes, ya empezaron desde ahorita a hacerse a gritar y a decir así. Son la mayoría de los puertorriqueños, pero también arriba del ring hablan, hablan, hablan mucho. Este, las peleas de Chávez con Camacho, las peleas del Travieso Arce con Wilfredo Vázquez Jr., Salvador Sánchez con Wilfredo Gómez. Hay muchísimas peleas entre puertorriqueños y mexicanos que han sido guerras y esta no va a ser la excepción. Berlanga es un tremendo peleador, un muchacho que trae mucha hambre de, de ganar lo que ya ganó Canelo, pero Canelo todavía está, Canelo todavía está, está vigente y eso se va a ver el, el día de, de la pelea. Muchísimas gracias a todos y, y gracias a todos por su apoyo. <tose> PBC, uh, Heyman, the Langas team for making this possible. And uh, Mexico versus Puerto Rico, it's always a war. You just saw it. Puerto Ricans like to talk loud inside and outside the ring. You just saw it how they yelled at each other. So it's going to be another chapter of a great story between two countries that are very proud. Um, this is going to be no exception. The and Canelo are going to bring their best, but Canelo is still here and he's here to stay. So tune in on September 14th because it's going to be a great night and we look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you, Martin Batar on translation. One want to acknowledge before we get to our fighters, the manager of Team Berlanga, Keith Connolly, one of the best managers in all of boxing, and then of course, the father of Edgar Berlanga, Edgar Berlanga Sr. as well to my left and then to my right, want to acknowledge Louis de Cubis, who is up. Another name from one of the best managers in all of boxing, a part of Team Canelo. All right, now let's hear from our main event fighters. First up to the podium with 22 victories, 17 by knockout, undefeated, fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, and proudly representing Puerto Rico. Here is Edgar Berlanga. How you guys are doing tonight? I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for uh, you know blessing me with this opportunity to be in the ring with a legend. Um, you know, September 14th is going to be something amazing for that night, man. You know, uh, it's going to be something for the history books. You know, it's Puerto Rico versus Mexico, something that everybody knows, and in the sport of boxing, that uh, you know, fights like that at that at that magnitude, you know, stays in the books forever. 
you know, I'm glad to be here. I'm happy. Um, you know, and it's gonna be a flag fight, man, September 14th, you know, get your pay per view. Uh you know I'm a type of fighter that comes to fight, you're not gonna run, we're gonna stay there, we're gonna fight. I know we'll be facing, you know, so I would like to thank Team Canelo, you know, for giving us this opportunity. Um, you know, it's an opportunity of a lifetime to to be in his shoes, you know. Like Marco said, he, he was in my shoes before, you know, coming up in the ring, you know, so now it's time to get my feet wet and make my mark in the sport of boxing and become a legend. I want to thank you guys. Love y'all. Thank you for the support. And tune in September 14th, y'all. Yeah. And now let's hear from the man himself, future Hall of Famer, 16-1 victories, 39 by knockout, opposite of two defeats and two draws. The legendary boxing superstar, four division world champion, the reigning WBA, WBC, and WBO super middleweight world champion, Saul Canelo Alvarez. <laughs> September 14th, and I wanna, I don't wanna have compassion, compassion for him this time. This time I'm gonna be in the ring different. Like I said to him in Spanish, he need, he needs 20 like him to give me a little problem. <laughs> so September 14th, you wanna see something different. Believe me. Thank you, thank you everybody, thank you Alhaimo. Thank you, Rita Cubas. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you to my family. Thank you to all the media for coming and support. And and I hope everybody tune in September 14th because it's gonna be uh, exciting. Thank you. All right. Let's start with. Berlinga, you know, we saw towards the end when you guys faced off Canelo in New York yesterday, you seemed to be having some words with Canelo, and then we saw again here when you guys faced off, you guys were at it for quite a bit. What were you telling Canelo? Um, well, yesterday, right? Yesterday, I was yesterday and today, yeah. When you guys, mean, guys gonna, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be a firefight. You know, there's going to be different. It was like, you see, you see, I was going to see, we just kept going back and forth. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a part of the game, it's a part of the sport. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we fighters at the end of the day, gladiator sport, man. You know, at the end of the day, he's going in there to try to take my life, and I gotta do the same. So, you know, at the end of the day, this is cool, you know, like the pictures and, you know, the interviews, but this is a do or die sport at the end of the day. You know, you can really die in that ring, so, you know, we gotta take it to the next level, you know, and treat it like the gladiator school for real. Canelo, he was. Talking to you at the face-off in New York City yesterday, talking to you here at the face-off, and you said, you know, you're not gonna have any compassion for him September 14th. You know, is it some of those words that's starting to get you a little bit motivated as this fight inches closer? Yes. Look, I motivate myself because I love what I do. I love boxing. But at these type of fights, uh, these type of fighters, I I really, they really motivate myself and they, even more. So, uh, and I like it. I'm happy. I'm happy because it does make me feel uh, excited. And I want to train like, like never to 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 ruin everything in uh, September 14th. Now this is obviously adding another chapter to the Mexico Puerto Rico rivalry. You're back here on this important fight weekend in the boxing calendar, Mexican Mexican Independence Day weekend, T-Mobile Arena. What is it like to be back on this date? And on top of that, adding to another chapter of oh, the rivalry. I feel proud to represent my country, especially in those days. Uh, these kind of fights, Mexico versus Puerto Rico. I feel proud and, 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 and I'm gonna do it in a fashion way. Berlanga. His last four opponents especially have fallen short on this stage. What makes you different from those other four guys that fought Canelo and fell short? Like I said before, right? You know, everybody, 
everybody, everybody, you know, he fought everybody. You know, he fought Floyd, he fought Triple G. He's seen it all. You know, he's seen size, he's seen short, he's seen speed. You know, but uh, what's, what makes the difference about this fight is not about it's not about physical. It's about you know, IQ and intelligence in that ring, and that's what's gonna make the difference. It's a 10 14. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Like I said before, we 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 going we going with that right for me, and, and that's just what it is, man. Like, you can have all the power in the world, you can do what you do, but at this level, is intelligence and IQ, and we're not gonna end up like that. Fuck nigga over there, I got knocked out. Kato. I bet you can play a finger on me. I bet you can play a finger on me. I bet you can play a finger on me. September 14th, it's fireworks, bro. It's fireworks. You know, you see them in my eyes. You see them in my eyes. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you see them in my eyes. You see them in my eyes. Oh. Hey. Canelo, you have accomplished pretty much everything in the sport. What keeps you going? What keeps you motivated? These kind of motherfuckers. <laughs> I'll go to your trainer, Eddie Ray. I don't know that much English, but that kind of words, I fucking enjoy it so much. I'm gonna fuck you up. Now I know what it is. I'm not sorry. Alright, let me go to your trainer, Eddie Ray, and hear from him. Eddie, you know, you've been with Canelo from the start. How has he evolved since? say five years ago to now, what have you seen in the growth of him as a fighter? He has been with Canelo since the beginning. Tell us a little bit about the evolution of Canelo from, let's say, five years to now. Well, it's... It's been a long time. Yeah, 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 ya con tanta carrera que tiene sigue manteniendo la misma disciplina y, el, la, y la misma hambre que cuando comenzó. When you're disciplined, you can achieve whatever you say your mind to, and that's what Canelo has done. He has remained disciplined, focused, and he's even hungrier now than he has been before. He's ready, and 
that focus has brought him to where he is today. We'll go to Edgar's trainer, Mark Foray. Mark, you're going to be game planning against Eddie Reynoso. How do you take on that challenge with your guy, Edgar Berlinga? Eddie Reynoso is a great trainer, um, but it just makes me work harder. Canelo says something that's very important. He says, I'm not going to have compassion on him. That means I believe he had compassion on him. I believe he could have stopped him here. So I know this is personal. So I tell Edgar, we gotta be ready for war. And Edgar's ready. I'm not standing up here saying we're gonna do this and do that. There's many guys that say four seven. They come up short. We're gonna be ready for war. And I told Edgar, this guy is not gonna have compassion. And Canelo just confirmed it today. I've been saying that since we've been in camp. This guy's coming to take your head off. Nothing like Nadia, nothing like he fought Charlo. This guy's Black. coming ready. So we coming ready. Black. We coming ready. Edgar, you heard Canelo, I mean, your trainer reiterated it. Canelo said he's gonna have no compassion for you. Thoughts on that and also, how does a win change your career over a guy like Canelo? I mean, as far as the compassion, I already knew he wasn't going to have that when he was from the get-go. I didn't want him to chase his life with that money. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. He's Mexican. And you know how that, you know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. Oh, every, you every, 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 Shut the fuck up. I wanna shut see that. I wanna see that. Shut up. Shut up. When I talk, shut up. I don't wanna shut up. I don't wanna shut up. Shut up. I don't wanna shut up. Canelo. 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 I don't want to fuck you out right now because your money is gone. <laughs> thank you. 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 Los lo borios, oíste, para que lo sepa, para que lo sepa. All right, guys, we're going to we're gonna stop it right here. You heard the war of words between these two main event fighters, September 14th, Mexican Independence Day weekend, Canelo Promotions. He's so good, Edgar Berlinga. Edgar Berlinga. Edgar Berlinga, you're seeing it's getting heated. We're just a little over a month away from the showdown. I cannot wait. Mexico is Puerto Rico. Main event, September 14th. Don't miss it. We're going to beat them all. <laughs>